Dhanvantri is a divine incarnation of uh, Lord Vishnu. Now, locate disease astrologically. Next. Medical astrology helps us to diagnose disease from the signs, houses and the planets. The cause of uh, ill health can be known well before its actual appearance in the human body through Vedic astrology also. When a bad planet influences bad houses like Virgo, Scorpio and Pisces, then it leads to several ill health. Generally, one must look at the seat of the disease from the afflicted houses and the afflicting during the dasa and under dasa of the afflicting planet or in that of the planet associated with it or when a particular planet is occupying the constellation of the planet afflicting or when it falls in the afflicted house. Similarly, similar results are obtained during the transit. Now, which is the planet which is afflicting the, uh, that particular house? And the which houses are already afflicted, that we have to take. And which in constellation that afflicted planet is transiting, that also plays an important role in giving the diseases. That's very, very important. I have seen many times when the sun is transiting the second house from the Janmarasi, that is from your moon. So, shall I tell them, I mean, uh, Hindi also, can I explain it? So, I can see. Please, sir. Please, you can. So, Janmarasi, if I say, I'm second house, mein, agar, uh, uh, Surya Graha transit hota hai, so usme, when what will happen, then it will uh, cause some irritation in the uh, eyes. That is very, very important. We have to see. So, whether it may be burning in the eyes or water from the eyes or some related problems with that. Any malefic when transiting the concerned house gives rise to symptoms of disease. Of a related part, Again, whenever it is the malefic is transiting that house, then it has to give some results pertaining to that house. When it is transiting 10th house, then we have to see the knees and all what is happening to our knees, whether it is burning in the knees or when it is uh, or there is a pain in the knees, can be ascertained when the malefic plan is transiting in the 10th house. It may not be serious. The ill, mal, uh, uh, ill health will pass up when the planet influence ceases. Right. Now, next slide. Uh, if Mars is debilitated in anybody's chart, I am talking about debilitated, that means Mangal niche mein hai, wo cancer, cancer mein hai, to Mars, abhi Janmarasi se, when Mars is transiting the third house from the natal moon, the natal loses courage and will suffer from fear and all sorts of apprehensions. And again, the natal will be escape the results of the debilitation stands cancelled or it attains the Nietzsche Manga Raja Yoga. And when Nietzsche Manga Raja Yoga has come, then Mars and Mangal are in the Nietzsche. So, this is the whole thing. The whole thing is the whole thing. Likewise, any benefit in the 8th house. This is very, very important. Likewise, any benefit in the 8th house, like Jupiter will make a person suffer from one, one, uh, some or other problems. So, what is the disease? What is the type of disease? Right? Uh, Jupiter will, um, Guru will give excellent results in 8th uh, eight house, right? Fine. But in what way it is going to give longevity also, it's fine. But it makes the person suffer on account of the disease. That is ex uh, that is uh, predetermined. Now, Saturn in 8th will give sound constitution and long life. Jupiter may also confer long life, but person would be always sickly. Now, even if there is a combination for pain and sound constitution, a person would suffer from the temporary yogas formed by the transit of planets. Upon the chart, may pura acha hai, magar gochar acha nahi hai. Then the person has to suffer on account of that. That disease will be compulsory to come. Whether our mind is getting disturbed or our body is getting disturbed, that all can be seen from the gochar. Gochar mein kya aro, wo dikha ta apan. During the rotating movements of the planets, they pass through un unfavorable houses from the natal moon. Agar natal moon se apan ka, chandra maa se wo uh, unfavorable ma places mein ja, ja, gochar rai ta to, so what will happen? We'll have some disease like this, or unfavorable constellation from the uh, birth constellation. Apar Janma Rasi se, apun ke Janma Nakshatra se unfavorable Nakshatra may be hai to bhi, or 
or it causes ill health misery misunderstanding etc these temporary co combinations however will not undermine the health of the person or who other uh, who has other favorable points in the radical agar apan ka radical chart mein apan ka we have a very good chart in this these can be minimized these this is can be minimized whatever the sufferings we are going to get from this transit of this planets we get reduced that is very very important according to ayurveda all matters including human body are composed of five basic elements who are correct these are at the water fire wind and ether and the structural body is made up of this well upon the body five elements five uh, elements se bana hua hai wo kya hai earth 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 is a solid state of matter the body parts of the of the body part is made up of bones teeth uh, cell flesh body mass and tissues are manifestations of the earth the body parts of the body like bones teeth cells flesh body mass and tissues are manifestation of earth manifestation kya apan ka body jaisa bana earth ke vaaste bana hua abhi water it represents the liquid state of the body a large part of the body is made up of water and represents fluids in the body apan ka body mein fluids hona ke to water is jaruratan pani wo pani very very important hai the fluids move between our cells to bring energy apan ka energy aana bol to pani compulsory hona and take out waste ab apan ka waste jana bol to water is very very important it controls the body temperature apan ka body temperature bhi control karta disease ko bhi control karta by disease and gives energy apan ko energy bhi deta pani diye next fire fire has no substance but it can transform the state of any material जो मेटेरियल उसको ट्रांसफॉर्म कर सकता अगर अपन काये वो काये से भी ट्रांसफॉर्म कर देता फायर इज द एनर्जी व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स द फूड इनटू फैट अपन का फूड को फैट में कन्वर्ट करता दिस एनर्जी कंट्रोल्स और इंपल्शंस एंड थॉट प्रोसेस ऑन नर्वस सिस्टम ये क्या है फायर पूरा अपन को थॉट प्रोसेस एंड नर्वस सिस्टम को कंट्रोल करता नेक्स्ट ए ए इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ए इज गैसस form and is always moving and dynamic ye pura niche se upar tak every part of the body it will move air will go into every part of the movement it will make us use it air help the fire to burn without air the help uh, life is not possible the energy transfer is through air jo bhi energy apan ko is through air pranayam karte to control or give energy to the particular part of our body ether ether fills the void a gap between the any two elements it helps all the elements to work and perform their function ye kya hai kya ye do bhi gap hai itar bolte jo gap aata hai usme two elements jo bhi elements hai they have to give function their individuality so it helps all the elements to work and perform their function without it the other elements cannot exist itar gives individuality to other elements the function of itar is sound sound jo bhi hai apan ka body mein wo The structural part, the structural part of the body is made up of five elements. Structural part, अपन को जो भी structure है, वो five elements से बना हुआ है. ये we are made up of five elements. But the functional aspect of is done by the three humors. वो three humors कौन सा हैं? वाता पिता का पा. These are always present in the body. The three humors are वाता पिता का पा. They are present in every cell में रहता, tissue में रहता, organ में रहता. And they govern all the biological and pathological changes of the body. अगर अपन कुछ बुखार आया वी हैव टू बर्न टेक द पैथोलॉजी टू द ब्लड टेस्ट को पूरा करना वो पूरा करना बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट ओनली दिस थ्री एनी इंबैलेंस ऑफ दिस वादा पिता का पा विल लीड टू सम सफरिंग सो नाउ वादा द एयर व्हाट इज वादा द एयर एंड इटर रेगुलेट्स द मूवमेंट एंड नर्वस सिस्टम अपन का मूवमेंट को और नर्वस सिस्टम को कंट्रोल करना वाला वादा है इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल इंडेक्शन ऑफ वेस्ट अपन का उसमें जो भी वेस्ट है वो कंट्रोल करता है गार भी जा जाता है नाउ नेक्स्ट pita the element of the elements are fire and water and it causes metabolism process in the body it controls digestion of the food and other transformation apan ko usme jo bhi hai metabolism process mein body mein rehta and it controls the digestion of the food and transformation aur jo bhi hai digestion hua it goes into other part of the body and give the strength apan ko strength deta kapha the element of kapha are water and earth wo earth and water pani और इट इज एनर्जी ऑफ कोहेशन एंड लुब्रिकेशन लुब्रिकेशन होना ना अपन को इट होल्ड्स द बॉडी टुगेदर अपन को बॉडी टू इंटैक्ट लगाने के लिए दिस इज कपा इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द कॉजेस ऑफ द डिजीज क्या 
because of the disease the vitation of three humors which is by the surrounding nature our surrounding nature may be depend on the the motion of the planets in the sky have effect on the human body jo bhi uh, sky mein aakash mein wo planets apan ke upar effect rehta each nakshatra planets represent the function of the part of the body apan ka function jo bhi hai each nakshatra mein hai planet bhi ye do mila ke apan ka function jo bhi hai body mein jo bhi function hai वो करता है अगर अगर नहीं है तो इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ समथिंग इज एफेक्टेड द प्लैनेट इज बैड देन दैट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी विल गेट एफेक्टेड व्हेन प्लैनेट्स मूव इन डिफरेंट नक्षत्र दे एफेक्ट द बॉडी प्लैनेट्स डिफरेंट नक्षत्र एनबी का नक्षत्र में जा रहे सो so, क्या होता है अपन को दैट पार्ट में कुछ गलती होने का या कुछ डिसऑर्डर uh, होने का चांसेस रहता है नेक्स्ट द फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर ह्यूमंस रिप्रेजेंटेड विद सेवन प्लैनेट्स सेवन प्लैनेट्स सन क्या है फायर है वायलस और पिता मून वाटर विंडे फ्लैमेटिक और वाता कपा मार्स फायर एंड वायलस मेक्यूरी एर्थ वाता पिता एंड कपा जुपिटर एर्थ इतर फ्लैमेटिक वीनस वाटर विंडे एंड फ्लैमेटिक सैटन एयर विंडे राहु विंडे के तो वायलस दीज थिंग्स आर फिक्स्ड आई एम टेलिंग यू दीज थिंग्स आर फिक्स्ड एंड वी हैव टू गो अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज प्लैनेट्स ओनली then we can easily get to what are the results why is that person is suffering account of this why is the water planet is making him to suffer on account of this why he got the what we call <coughs> why he got a cold why he got i mean uh, um, uh, asthmatic why he has become asthmatic what is the role of mercury in getting asthma because all the things we have to see next as per med- medical astrology each house of the horoscope is the part of kalapursha the planets have some jurisdiction over certain part of the human body and have certain tendency to produce disease aur kya hai everything everything is fixed as per the kalapursha the planets have some jurisdiction over certain part of the body agar apan if you take the first house it depends upon the one on the brain and all so human part uh, part of the human body and have a certain tendency to produce disease wo kaun sa part mein aata which part, which part is going to get affected Why is it we are particularly about the Libra? Libra बोल तो क्या है बोल तो तुला उसमें है तो सूत्र है वो सूत्र why is giving a disease? Why is giving kidney disease? Why well, the tendency has been given that part that part is ruled by um, that uh, uh, Libra. So houses, signs, and nakshatra and planets in the horoscope indicate certain tendencies and resultant physical problems or illness. वो signs houses कौन सा है? वो साइन कौन सा है नक्षत्र कौन सा है प्लैनेट्स इन द हॉरोस्कोप इंडिकेट्स एंड टेंडेंसीज एंड रिजल्टेंट फिजिकल प्रॉब्लम्स और इलनेस इलनेस का क्या है व्हाई यू गॉट द मेंटल इलनेस व्हाई यू गॉट द फिजिकल इलनेस वो क्या है व्हाट आर ऑल दिस थिंग्स द पहले क्या करना अपन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू द फर्स्ट हाउस सिक्स्थ हाउस एथ हाउस एंड ट्वेल्थ हाउस ऑफ द हॉरोस्कोप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ द हेल्थ ऑफ हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स कौन सा है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट हाउस देखना सिक्स्थ हाउस देखना एथ हाउस देखना ट्वेल्थ हाउस देखना Our skull is very important to understand the nature of the whole cell problem. Our happened. What is the reason for getting this problem? Medical astrology can identify the weak areas of the body that may be prone to illness as well as the treatment option to cure the problem. Our medical astrology will guide everything. Yes, ye aata, ye time pe ye aata. This is hundred percent sure. We are trying our level best to get pinpoint of the event and the pinpoint of the disease when it is going to come and which part of that is going to get affected. We have to see and tell. that it is 100% correct so oh, that is the beauty of the astrology and the astrology now the sixth rashi is backward from the ascendant denote the left side of the body while the sixth uh, forward rashi is from the lagna indicate the right side of the body that you can understand <coughs> the first dekna the first dekna of the ascendant denotes left side of the head and the part raised yet indicate the right side of the head ye paan malum ho gaya you know that first house it is brain left side of the head and the right side of the head the second and 12th denote the right side and left side of the eyes respectively the third and 11th right and left ears the fourth and 10th right and left nose fifth and 9th right and left cheeks sixth and 8th right and left chin seventh seventh left side of the face area have to be raised and the seventh right side of the face portion already descended If the second decana rises, neck, shoulder, arms, head, heart, stomach, and navel are to be understood in the same manner. 
So the third leg na rises the spine base and the spine is testicles, thigh, knee, calf, and feet all be counted in the same manner. The decanate occupied by the amalfic denotes wounds, etc. While the one by the benefics indicate markas or moles on the limbs concerned. Now, so this man had be placed in their own rashes or amsa at birth. Then the wound or mole are right from the birth. Otherwise, this will be caused later in appropriate period. You can see Stephen Hawkins. His muscles are not functioning. Why it's not functioning? The sixth Lord Jupiter is in eight in retrogation, and the seventh Lord is uh, with the uh, I mean Mars. That is uh, that um, uh, with the Saturn. Seventh Lord Mars is with the Saturn. That too is retrograde. That shows the Kuru Janma Karma. What he has to undergo like, and the, because of that, his, his muscles are not functioning well. But he got other uh, this thing. He got uh, very very good. Uh, uh, I mean knowledge and all. It has not been listened to because his moon is aspected with Jupiter, Jupiter that shows that the previous karma is still there and he has got a, a big name, fame, everything like that. Now, the sudden health issues. Now, the first house, sixth house, eighth house, twelfth house of the horoscope is very important to understand the nature of the health problem. A careful study of these houses and their laws along with the divisional chart. Divisional charts is very well. It is necessary to determine whether the nature is prone to sudden ill health issues. How we can know this? You go to D16 chart. For D16 chart, what is going to say whether that, that may happiness then or whether it is going to give you unhappiness during that period. You see the planet, what it is running here, if it is malefic, and the, the same thing is going to in the D16 in the 8, 6, 8, uh, 12 baba, then that period will not be good. That impact will be will be on the uh, I mean the native. So a careful study of these uh, houses and their lots along with the given is necessary to determine whether the native is prone to sudden health issues. Impact of transiting planets and thus period play an important role in deciding the uh, timing of the sudden health. But timing, when uh, we have, we have uh, which, which one will click every time, the during, uh, transit one click the movement, the uh, event of that also. If the person is prone to a health problem, such undesirable event occurs suddenly during the transit of malfic planet connected to the malfic houses in the house and uh, the horoscope and during the adverse dasa. So, what is clicking here? The transit is clicking here of the malfic planet. That malfic planet is transiting the malfic house, then it is definitely has to be the uh, uh, yeah, ill health problem. There will be there the malfic house in the uh, during the dasa and the dasa, it is definitely is going to give. We have to wait for the uh, next dasa to come. Mental illness. What are the mental illness, the illness? What is that? <coughs> so, as per Vedic astrology, moon signifies the mind and Mercury signifies the nervous system and logic and intellect. So, Jupiter signifies wisdom, whether to talk or anything, to give the courage and all. If these uh, three planets are weak or afflicted in the horoscope, probability or chances of mental illness may increase. If moon is afflicted by shadow planets Rahu or Ketu, it can cause more complications. The role of ascendant and its lord is very important. The type of planet depicting or influencing the moon, Mercury, Jupiter, ascendant, and the fifth house also holds the key to understand the level of mental problems and the remedies for the mental illness. Such problems may occur during the malfic transit and the same. Now the question is that when the moon is afflicted, when the moon is afflicted, what? Rahu is afflicted. Rahu is associated with the moon. Then what will happen? He cannot take decisions immediately. He will be having, I mean, wavering the mind at all. Sometimes, every time he will be thinking in different way. When we say something, he thinks in some way. He say yes now and go to home and we will say no. These are the problems when Rahu is aspecting the I mean, moon or is associated with it. Next. Sage Parasar named three, uh, three uh, man, the Parasara named three sages as lord of three dragoners of each sign as follows. For mobile sign Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn is an Arada. And for fixed signs Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius is Agastya. For dual signs Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Spices, Durvasa. Narada Muni was known for his Bhakti, devotion to the Supreme Lord. Bhakti is the prime necessity to the necessity of the soul. Therefore, Narada might represent the Atma. That means, 
Noble side, it is an Atma and the soul. So, Agastya Mahamuni, what is this associated with the mind in many places in the Vedas? So, he is always in Agastya Mahamuni, Mahamuni was in, always in meditation. So, he used to meditate. So, he had represented the mind. Dhruva Mahamuni was famous for his efforts to control his senses. He has to control his senses. Or senses to control karke, then he has known what is that, what we can achieve. When he controls the senses, he could achieve everything. Therefore, he represents, therefore, he represents the Indriyas or senses. So, we might say that three drakanas of the sign may refer to soul, mind and senses. Next page. So, see, so this is a very, I mean, is a, is a easy to say. So, if we divide the uh, column means if we divide the each drakana into two parts, then 0 to 5 degrees and uh, 6 to 10 degrees. So, see, for 0 to 5 degrees is the internal one, internal injury and um, uh, I mean uh, five, 6 to 10 degrees is the uh, external one. So, <coughs> so K2 which helps uh, astrologer and medical to judge the nature of location of injury, damage or disease or to judge the exact area of the effectiveness of the injury, damage or disease. If any planet giving injury, damage or disease is placed in K1, that will affect the inner part of the organ or if the planet giving the injury, damage or uh, disease is uh, a position in K2 of the Dragna, that will affect the outer part of the organ. So, in my research, I want to present the next, um, I mean, uh, one hour I take it. I have divided it into 3 degrees 20 minutes. First, uh, 3 degrees 20 minutes is the internal and second, to 3 degrees 20 minutes is middle and last 3 degrees 20 minutes is external. Then we have to see which part is got affected, whether it is internal, external or in middle. So we can know easily by taking that into consideration. Next. So now I am going to the kidney trouble. The kidney trouble, the kidney is ruled by 7th house, 7th lot. Any affliction to the 7th or 7th lot causes kidney troubles. Jupiter and moon are the carcass for kidneys. Yeah, happen Degne ka Jupiter benefit hai. Magar why is he giving diseases? He is the twelfth lord of the Kalapursha. Wo dekh lena. He has no right when the Jupiter Saturn is giving some afflictions to some houses. Depending upon that, Jupiter will not and interfere in these matters. Jupiter and moon are the carcass for kidneys, kidney disease. Venus is the main karka of the 7th house and the Libra sign rules the 7th house of the natural zodiac. The Libra sign is ruled by Chitta, Swati and Vishaka Nakshatra. Again, Libra sign is very very important. That is Tula is very very important which is owned by Venus. Mercury in Libra. Mercury in Libra may cause kidney trouble due to nervous problem and skin problems due to kidney troubles. Again, Mercury, agar Libra mein hai to, kidney trouble and nervous system ka jaisa problems aata. And skin problem bhi deta. <coughs> oh. Jupiter in uh, Libra may cause deposits of cholesterol in the kidney tubules. Kidney tubules bolke rehta, usme ye cholesterol aake deposit hota. So, upon uh, excess cholesterol hai to, in the blood or excess sugar in the blood will cause kidney troubles. Excess cholesterol in the bed or excess sugar in the blood will cause kidney trouble. Yeah, kidney troubles are not the chances very very bright. Uh, most kidney disease attack the nephrons. Nephrons to work, the effect. The damage may leave kidneys, which makes them unable to remove waste and cause genetic problems. Injuries or medicines used to numbers. You are at a greater risk for kidney disease if you have. Diabetes, high blood pressure or close family members with kidney disease. If it is genetic, pe hai. so close family members, ka hai to, next to family member, ka ke be, there are very good chances are there. I have seen in my um, uh, son's own case, he is having, um, I mean, even he had a kidney problem, I thought it would go. That too in Venus Dasa. Yes, he has been operated. Next. Next. <coughs> Chronic kidney disease. Damages the uh, nephron slowly over uh, several years. The carca of all types of stones is Saturn. A Saturn stones manufacturing carca. Upon the body may stones manufacturing carca. Mercury rules over gallbladder, upon gallbladders, and sun rules over bowel disease. Bowel disease, Jobiai, Deneka Reta. 
the saturn along with mars and rahu, rahu should <coughs> should affect seventh house libra venus and moon ye saturn is along with mars saturn should affect seventh house libra venus and moon venus is the main karaka of kidney with mercury and moon and sixth and seventh house in support sixth and seventh house support bhi hona padta people born here yeah, this is one probability and people born in the month of september and october when sun is in virgo or libra suffer from affliction of lower abdomen or kidney ye yeah, probability hai jab bhi transit hota was a yeah, pura so then when the sun is transiting when the people born in the month of september and october when sun is in virgo or libra suffer from affliction of the lower part of the abdomen or kidneys kidneys mein apan ko burning bhi aata sometimes we will feel somewhat something is happening in our kidneys because the sun gives inflammation to it now i am going to garb the stones this is a chart so a chart is 461945 hyderabad the native was suffering from gallbladder stones right you can see the gallbladder stones are there the native is 11th 11th lord sun and 12th lord mercury are conjoined in the 8th house and hemmed between the mars and rahu idhar kya hai mercury and sun are in 8th house atma bhav mein aur hemming kar raha hai mars and saturn aur rahu bhi hemming kar raha so 8th house is not affected position of sun and mercury in 8th house cause formation of gallbladder stones as mercury rules gallbladder stones and sun rules our bowel disease next the affliction of uh, the affliction of 6th uh, house and its lord jupiter abhi jupiter ke dhar hai jupiter 11th mein affliction hua by its lords kon hai 6th house lord hai is in 11th aspected by saturn as well as by ketu as by ketu wo kya hua then 6th lord got affected here the 8th lord venus is aspected by ketu 8th lord venus hai wo aspected by ketu wo bhi lagna lord hai aspected by ketu right position of sun and mercury in 8th and moon is aspected by mars with mars mars ko ma moon ko kon aspect kar raha hai mars is aspecting more uh, which gives rise to the gallbladder stones ye pura leke has given rise to the gallbladder stones during the dasha of moon ketu jupiter on 23rd december 1993 the native was hospitalized and the native got operated and the native gallbladder stones were removed successfully this is very very important to know the gallbladder suppose i am telling you even if a venus is exalted and during that dasha he cannot escape the formation of the kidney stones or gallbladder stones this is as should i have seen in many uh, many charts now i am going to the uh, next one this is kidney trouble Venus, Moon, and Jupiter are carcass for all diseases of kidneys. This is very, very important. Venus, Moon, and Jupiter are all carcasses of kidney diseases. When seventh house, Libra, Jupiter, Moon, and Venus are afflicted, all these will give diseases of kidneys. There is no escape. In the above chart, Libra sign is afflicted by Saturn and Mars. Saturn and Mars. Saturn is thus by tenth aspect. It is aspecting the Moon. That is Libra, where it is afflicted. and mars is also also aspecting the moon that is where it is pointed in libra and <coughs> saturn as saturn is a carca for stones saturn carca we have already told that saturn is a carca for stone which is aspecting the libra sign as given rise to the disease concerning the kidney stones a problem we have ascertain that when saturn is aspecting the concern house that is moon as well as the i mean libra sign There is a probability of getting kidney diseases. There is a probability. I am using the uh, word for when it is going to come. We will know. We will know. The seventh house is aspected by Saturn, Ketu, right? Saturn, Ketu, and Mercury, where Mars and Rahu is present. The seventh house of this chart is aspected by Saturn, Ketu, and Mercury, where Rahu and Mars are present. This also there is a one tam rule, right? Right. Uh, in the dasha of Jupiter. the 12th lord moon and rahu the native has undergone surgical operation on 20th december 1983 again in the dasha of jupiter moon and jupiter there was a pain in the kidney and the native has undergone kidney operation on 23rd february 1984 which has been a success now thyroid 
this is very very important thyroid is the most common disease thyroid is the most common disease of the present time a thyroid patient sees problem in all aspects of his life thyroid increases risk of obesity and heart disease depression anxiety hair loss and certain sexual problems also you will not be interested in having sex or some problem will be there suppose the man no erection that will be there if it is female she will not allow to touch it if undiagnosed it affects patient's life severely and that too without patient even realizing that thyroid is the root cause of many problems in the life that we have to see here are my findings analyze the third lord chimney signs should be afflicted and third lord poetry in 6 8 and 12 are associated with the 6 8 12 lords gives rise to thyroid Abhi third lord that is where upon the chart my third lord kone wo dekh lo or what is the planet present in that third house that is plays an important role in giving the thyroid or not so chimney sign should be afflicted chimney sign be afflicted or not third lord poetry in 6 8 12 6 8 12 third lord is poetry in 6 8 12 are associated 6 8 12 lots gives rise to thyroid. Agar 6 8 12 lots a third lot jama hua, to bhi thyroid aega. Mercury is associated with the thyroid gland and the lungs. As mercury is the carca for respiratory nerves and the planet along with the Gemini or Virgo sign and their affliction by malfix use diseases. Abhi kya hai? Mercury is associated with thyroid glands or respiratory. Lungs may be, plays an important lungs to be in the uh, deals. Right, it a respiratory nerves to work because it deals with the nerves. So respiratory nerves to be work deal with that. And the planet along with the Gemini, Virgo sign and the reflection by Malphite gives this disease. Jupiter should be in 3, 6, 8 or 12, Lord, are placed in these houses or in 5th house. Sun and moon are reflected in the chart gives rise to thyroid. Now, the uh, uh, type of uh, hypothalamus. Very, very important. What is the, uh, we have to know about just a brief discussion about the thyroid. The hypothalamus releases a hormone called thyrotropin, releasing hormone, which sends signals to the pituitary glands, which is present in our mind, to release thyroid stimulation hormone. The thyroid stimulation hormone sends signals to thyroid to release thyroid hormones. These are the place which, which plays an important. What is that? Basically, what we have to know, the um, butterfly-shaped gland is located in front of the neck. Upon the neck, where it is front of the neck, it is thyroid is placed. It is a better butterfly shape. And pituitary gland located in the brain. Pituitary gland is located in the brain to give the signal. To give, kisko? To thyroid glands to release thyroid. Oh, Hypothalamus gland is also present. So, Jupiter... <coughs> Jupiter is, is associated with the body's largest and uh, probably most common organ, the liver. The organs produced by aiding the digestion of the fats and plays an important role in metabolism. So, pituitary glands is also connected with the Jupiter. So, we have to say, we have to relate each and every gland to whichever planet it is coming to. Right? Next. Uh. Now, here, the third lord. Mercury and Gemini are afflicted in the above chart. You can see this. Third Lord, Mercury and third house is also afflicted Gemini. We can see Jupiter who is the Lord of 12th house is pointed in the 5th house. 5th house. So if you take the Bhavad Bhavan from the third house, it is going to Jupiter is there. He is the 12th Lord of that. And Bhavad Bhavan from third house, third house is 5th house. Right? And as aspected by Rahu, gives rise to these problems. Rahu is aspect in the Jupiter. Jupiter means expansion. What type of expansion? Whether it is going to give thyroid expansion? Yes, it is going to give thyroid problem. Right? Gives rise to this problem. In the third, third Lord is in 8th house. Ketu in Gemini. Is Gemini sign aspected of Mars and Rahu. Mars is aspecting that and Rahu is also aspecting that. <coughs> Which one? The third Lord. <coughs> Mars knowledge. Rahu is uh, sorry, Rahu is um, with the Mars. Mars is aspecting the third house. Okay. And the same Rahu is aspecting the Jupiter. 
aspected Mars and Rahu. Mercury is retrograde in, uh, and is associated with the deadly enemy Mars. Increase the disease. So, here Mars is in 8th house. Okay, Mars is also is aspecting the 3rd house. Rahu is aspecting the 3rd house. So, Mar Mercury is, who is the 3rd lord is uh, retrograde. That means it shows past karma. And is associated with the deadly enemy. Who is that? Mars. Okay. Jupiter as 12th lord is in 5th house. And Moon is in place. Moon, that's a 4th lord is in place here. So, these are all the things has to be applicable. So, these all indicate cough and hand insulin resistance and weak digestion. So, because of this, moon is pointed in 12,000 aspected by Saturn. Saturn is aspecting the moon. In the above chart, third house and third lord are afflicted, giving rise to thyroid diseases. Next. Uterus disorder. This is very, very important. Then we have to see. This includes, includes fibroids, uterine polypus, prolapsed the uterus and uterine cancer. This is very very important. You take na ka uterus kitha hai, cervix kitha hai, wo dekna vagina kitha hai, wo pura just please take out. Up my mind mein aaya to we know easily how to diagnose this. Eighth lord, eighth lord, eighth house is malefic in nature, poison in inimical sign, debilitated, hemorrhoid between malefic, conjec and aspected with malefic indicate uterus problem. We can easily know which is uh, you have to take the sixth and eighth to place an important role in the uterus problem. Lots of sixth and eighth related to each other indicates uterus disorder. If they are together or aspect each other, then in female charts, we know that there will be uterus disorder. Eighth lord, eight thousand moon are afflicted with Saturn and Rahu indicate uterus cancer. That is very, very important. Eight thousand, eight, eighth lord and moon. Are afflicted by Saturn and Rahu. Rahu is main karka. Indicate uterus cancer. Sixth lord is placed in 8th and 12th and aspected by Rahu, Saturn and Rahu. Indicate uterus cancer. Sixth lord is placed in 8th and or 12th house and aspected by Saturn and Rahu. Indicate uterus cancer. Moon and 8th house. Sign Scorpio. Afflicted by K2. Indicate uterus fibroid block the fallopian tube. We got a fallopian tube over there. You can see the fallopian tube. What is what it's there? Afflicted indicates you uterus for a fibroid block the fallopian tube. Fibroid okay? Oh, block kar deta. Next, Venus. No, Venus and moons being, uh, being afflicted by Saturn and Rahu indicate blockages in fallopian tube. Venus and moons. Kya ho? Being afflicted by Saturn and Rahu indicates blockage in fallopian tubes. Now, seventh and eighth lord. Afflicted by Saturn and Rahu indicates obstructions in fallopian tube. Seventh and eighth lord, afflicted by Saturn and Rahu indicates obstructions in fallopian tubes. Cancer disease. This is very, very important. Nowadays is going very, very fast. And we have to know about the cancer disease. Now, astrologically, Rahu is a karka for all management growth. Jupiter is a karka for systematic growth and causes tumors. And Rahu represents haphazard growth. When Rahu afflicts a house or its lord or a karka being anywhere related with these diseases, infecting houses or planet, a management growth in the part of the body is likely. Now the question is that when you, you are neglecting, you are a tumor. Don't neglect it. If you neglect it, it turns into cancer. There's a probability of getting cancer. So tumor is tumor, fine. So there are some, I mean, uh, research oriented uh, things that the doctors have said. The cancer cell will be hiding somewhere in our body. So we have to see what is that. Then you have to go to the Rahu. What is Rahu is reflecting that part of where the tumor has formed? That we have to see. Now, the role of various planets in producing cancer in the body. What is sun? This sun is brain, first bone, stomach, bowel, or eye. This may have the chances are very, very bright. Moon, blood, breast, heart, ovaries, or lungs. Mass, blood, genitals, bone marrow, neck, rectum. Uterus or veil, mercury, mouth, navel or nose, liver, Jupiter, liver, spleen, ear, thigh or tongue, venous, genital organs, kidney, phosphate glands or throat, Saturn, bone, legs, hands or teeth. This is very, very important. You have to know Saturn where it is going to give bone, legs, or hands or teeth, but it may change because of uh, 
some affliction or in which nakshatra the saturn is pointed now we have to go very very important this what are the karmic control planets the karmic control planets are those planets ruling the sign where rahu and ketu are present then that is moon's node are located now aaj ka din mein transit pe kidhar hai if it is rahu is in mesha ketu is in libra so who is will be the karmic control planet it will be the mars and venus where this will be the main karkas for getting the cancer as ketu is the inlet path, uh, point of the past karma the planet ruling the ketu sign is the past life karmic control whatever you have done in the past that means it says purva janma sukrutam papam vyadi rupena peeditam that comes here which one ketus according to ketu the planet ruling rahu sign is the karmic distribution planet distribution control planet for the present life what is that we have to do in the present life will be given by the rahu the displacement of rahu and ketu also acts as a karmic control planet to giving the results of this the giving the disease of cancer and all general role for rana yoga is that this is very very important if sixth house lord is malefic placed in nakshatra or constellation of seventh or eighth or lord if it is that sixth lord is pointed in the constellation of seventh or eighth lord or and if it is placed in the ascendant or eighth house or in tenth house then cancer disease is possible in the vimshotari dash of that planet the planet that is giving is malefic sixth lord malefic if it is in the constellation of seventh or seventh or eighth lord and if it is placed in ascendant or eighth or tenth house the cancer disease is possible in the vimshotari dash of that planet these are the some findings this is the most likely to, for the people born in gemini cancer leo virgo scorpio pisces ascendant if it is associated to the ascend ascendant then it can lead to brain cancer next so now it is a uh, mouth cancer the uh, natives are very beginners less the native is addicted to pan masala due to which the native uh, notice a very small cyst inside his cheek the native used very and uh, every uh, various antibiotics and there was no relief later on biopsy confirmed as cancer what has happened by chewing the pan masala this is the habit of most of the industries and uh, i have seen most of the business people will be chewing and very less for the i mean routine people the karmic control planets are rahu and ketu and displacements are which ones here the karmic control planets lagna is uh, taurus second house is rahu and the karmic i mean uh, i mean eighth house is uh, occupied by ketu the karmic control planets will become mercury and jupiter so rahu and ketu are positioned in second and eighth house And the displacement of Jupiter and Mercury are pointed in fifth and eleventh house and aspect to each other. This is very important. When we fifth and eleventh house, each and they are they are aspecting each other, and that too they are retrograde. That shows the past karma. So you cannot escape that past karma. The Mercury, which is the karmic control planet, and the Lord of the second and fifth house is retrograde. Shows past karma, right? In the Mahadas of Jupiter, Rahu Jupiter, on twenty eight eight two thousand, the native was diagnosed with mouth cancer. next and uh, actually mouth cancer after that it died now cervical cancer that is very very important you have to see cervical cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in the sense of the cervix the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina various signs of the human papilloma papilloma virus hpv a sexually transmitted infection play a vital role in causing most cervical cancer now you can see lagna lord come sixth lord who is the venus he is pointed in seventh house of the scorpio seventh house of scorpio and aspects lagna now the sixth lord is pointed in the seventh house who are the karmic control planet here mercury and jupiter once again Venus and Scorpio represent genetic organs. Very very important. Seventh Lord Mars is pointed in eighth house with Rahu, which is a karmic control planet. Now here Mars also became as a be a karmic control planet. The dispositor of eighth house is Jupiter, which is placed in the third house. Aspects Venus, which is pointed in the seventh house. Right. The seventh house is embedded between Mars and Venus on either side. That is Saturn and Rahu. 
okay they move on in 10000 in the constellation of rahu and uh, and aspected by ketu that's also very very bad saturn is 6000 and during uh, saturn mahadasa she was diagnosed and was suffering with the cervical cancer in july 1989 during rahu saturn rahu saturn and in the mahadasa of saturn rahu venus Jupiter, Jupiter. That is Sushma Dasha. The native died in the Sushma Dasha of Jupiter in the month of June, nineteen ninety. That was the end of that. The blood cancer, sir. Blood cancer. Now, chronic lymphocytic leukemia is the most common leukemia in the adults. Its type of cancer starts in the cells that become certain white. blood cells called lymphocytes in the bone marrow actually bone marrow what will not it has to manufacture red blood cells but here what is happening white blood cells are manufactured here the cancer leukemia cell starts in the bone marrow but goes into the blood it will go into the blood that is very very important that white blood cells which fights the i mean enemies has become more here So what will happen? We have to see. The native has a Pisces lagna, Pisces lagna, <coughs> Pisces lagna. Occupied by second lord Mars, who is a Marka, in mutual aspect by sixth lord Sun, displaced of Rahu, isn't it? Aspected by sixth lord Sun, who is the displaced of Rahu. Who are the karmic control planets here? Sun and Saturn. This is very very important. We have to keep in our mind. Lagna is Jupiter is retrograde in a inimical. Individual Taurus sign with Moon and twelfth Lord Saturn in mutual aspect with eighth Lord Venus. That is very very important. Eighth Lord Venus is playing an important role, right? All the water signs are affected by Saturn, Venus, and Mars. What is what are the water signs? Cancer. Cancer is aspected by Saturn, right? Then Venus. Venus is aspected by Saturn. Scorpio is aspected by Saturn. And uh, you can see that uh, Pisces is, asked, uh, as, uh, is where the Mars is located and aspected by Sun. This is he was diagnosed with uh, chronic lymphatic leukemia, a blood cancer, grade four, in July 2002 during Saturn Jupiter Saturn. In February till February 2013, he was fighting with the cancer. And in the Dasha of Mars, Mercury Mars Jupiter, the native died. The native died. So there was because of this blood cancer, he died. Uh, breast cancer breast cancer moon and sign cancer being afflicted by saturn indicate lumps in the breast lumps in the breast moon or fourth house sign cancer badly afflicted by ketu indicate lumps in the breast okay now that also moon fourth house associating with wing jupiter indicate the symptoms of non cancer is yes, too much on, on the breast Too much will be formed on the breast. Fourth house, Lord, being afflicted by Saturn and Rahu, indicate cancerous tumors in the breast. So when it is aspected by Saturn and Rahu, by in the of the fourth house, then it will uh, turn into cancerous tumor in the breast. Moon, a sign cancer is afflicted by Saturn and Rahu, indicate breast cancer. This is very very important. Moon, sign of cancer is afflicted by Rahu. Um, Saturn and Rahu indicate breast cancer. Then there will be breast cancer. Fourth Lord, pointed in six eight twelve houses, being aspected by Saturn and Rahu indicate breast cancer. Six eight twelve Lord, placed in fourth house and aspected by Saturn and Rahu indicates breast cancer. So we have to see that fourth house should be clear and it should not be aspect aspected by Rahu or Saturn, which leads to cancer or formation of cyst in the breast. So this is very very important. We have to see whether it is going to lead the breast cancer or formation of the I mean tumors in the uh, uh, breast. That we have to see. So by saying these are the parameters what I am giving, I can go into the depth. But now the time of what I can just we got five minutes or so. So I just go go for uh, heart disease now. One day I take only five minutes now. So what are the carcass? Now heart heart disease carcass. And there are some thumb rules. Uh, thumb rules also where we can say that you are going to get heart problem during this dust and all that. That thumb rules are given here. Now, Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Mars, uh, Cancer, Leo, 
or any relations with Virgo or sixth lord and with Saturn and Rahu increase the possibility of heart disease or heart attack. That is very, very important. Fourth, fifth and ninth houses and dead lords. Fourth house, fifth house and ninth house and dead lords plays an important role. Fifth house governs the right ventricle. This is very, very, very important. Fifth house governs the right ventricle. Ninth house governs the left ventricle. That we are seeing. Okay. Fourth house for the possibility of my, uh, myocardial infraction. That is death of tissue resulting from a failure of blood supply. Death of tissue resulting from a failure of blood supply leading to heart attack. Suppose if there is no blood supply to that, then what will happen? You will die. It will lead to heart attack. Now next. See Mars. Now here we have to see which house has got it. I told any retrogation planet in um, Leo. Simply may be a retrograde planet. Hai to we can tamrul ye hai ki that any planet let it be benefit or anything like this. It will lead to heart attack. Mars downs the blood. Right? Any affliction to the above will lead to the heart attack. Agar Mars ko kuch ho gaya, will lead to head attack, heart attack. The karka for the surgery are Mars and Ketu. Retrograde planet in Leo sign increases the possibility of heart disease. This is a thumb rule. We can clearly state, yes, ye hoga. That's it during the dasa or anta dasa. Right? The fourth law, now we can see. The fourth lord and eleventh lord, retrograde Mars is pointed in the eighth house law. That is Leo mein hai. Leo, it is posted in Leo. The sun and Saturn are conjoined with the sixth lord Mercury in Aquarius. Mercury, the sun and Saturn. Sun and Saturn are pointed in which house? In second house, that is in Aquarius. Mars in house of Sun and aspected by Saturn, Sun, Mercury, Venus, in this high blood pressure. High blood pressure, hypertension may appear because of that. So that is one one. One more thing, thumb rule is when Mars is aspecting the moon, that in this is hypertension also, you will have uh, high blood pressure, everything will be there. That is, is store Usme hai. The fourth lord, Mars is aspected by sixth lord, Mercury. And Rahu is pointed in the fifth house. That's it, sir. Suppose if you take from the same this chart, to say fifth house is not afflicted because Rahu is present over there, aspected by Ketu and all. So then Jupiter, who is a Karka for the heart, is aspected by Saturn. That also shows, yes, there is a crown to get um, heart diseases. Now, next to Vira. These are the thumb rule. Rahu Ketu axis passing through fifth and eleventh axis. Always generate dangerous diseases because the eighth house is squared by the evil axis. That is very, very important. If it is in the fifth, the eighth house will get squared by the evil axis. <coughs> now, combust fifth lord or a detergent plan, planet placed in Leo promote the heart surgery. In the Mahadas of Venus and Andadas of Moon and uh, Pretendas of Rahu, the NATO has bypass surgery. Right? Note, in spite of any adverse combination, if the Lagna, Lagna Lord and Moon are strong and the chart has some strong benefit yoga, so like Vajigin Sarga, Parijata Yoga, or Mahapurusha Yoga, the native will not have heart disease or will easily come out of it. Even though it is there, there's a thumb rule, which says that, that yes, you got a return of panel, it's going to undergo this uh, surgery and all. Yes, it's going to go under surgery for it, but it's come out of that danger and it will leave, uh, leave it. Happy married life or whatever it is there. Uh, that's it. Next slide, I want to give you one example. I think it's I can get, take another three minutes or so. Right? Uh, <clears throat> now the sun is in Aquarius here now. The sun is in Aquarius. A retrograde Jupiter in Leo was enough to, uh, to him down uh, down during the Mercury Dasa. That's very, very important. I told anyway, retrograde planets in uh, Leo is dangerous. Jupiter is aspected by 6th and 7th by Saturn, giving rise to heart diseases. Saturn be as aspect how by 10th aspect from it is right is aspecting that lagna and with Jupiter also. Right? Mercury is the marker for this lagna, is hemmed between Mars and Sun. You can see Mercury is hemmed between who is the marker for this lagna, is hemmed between Mars and Sun. Now, fourth house is occupied by Saturn and Rahu. Fourth house. Fourth house is occupied by Saturn and Rahu. Right? The fifth lord Jupiter is retrograde and the occupied lagna. And aspected by Saturn and Sun. That is very, very important. 
they afflicted Leo and Aquarius only in my heart elements. Now, what's the role of Aquarius here? Aquarius, what will happen? Pumping, circulation of blood is done in Aquarius. That is very, very important. If Saturn says, no, no, I will not circulate, that's the end of the life. That is very, very important we have to see. Circulation of blood is done in Aquarius. So, the Karma Karaka or whatever it is there, he says is the longevity also, is the giver of the longevity. If he says, no, no, you pump more blood, I mean, uh, supply of circulation of blood and all, so, uh, when the time comes, what will happen? That's the end of the life. So, it will stop the circulation of the blood. Cancer sign is afflicted by Mars and Rahu, giving rise to heart elements. So, cancer sign is afflicted by Mars and Rahu. Mars is also aspected and Rahu is also aspecting that cancer sign, giving heart ailments. In the Mahadas of Venus, who is the Lord of 3rd and 10th Lord and is poetry in the 8th house, in the Antardas of Mercury, of 2nd and 11th Lord, poetry in the 6th house from the Lagna, and Pratandas of Saturn, who is the Lord of 6th and 7th house, given rise to heart problem. These are all the during the Dasa, Antardas, and Pratandas of, we have seen that it has given rise to heart diseases. Now, last, God bless all of us with good health. Thank you.